Let's go to the game. And we got our first Falcons on Falcons matchup here in the round of 16. One thing I, I, I will say is Clevis is usually running the gun punch. Very effective out of that gun punch. I, I see him setting up some gun trips tight end right there, but it'll be interesting to see who comes out with the better gun punch in this game. Looks like Clef is going to start out on offense. Timeout taken by Beast Mode Mac as he tries to get set up. 20 minutes away in game for filling out the final spot in the Elite Eight. You'll see all that action tomorrow starting at 1 o'clock Eastern time. We are going to give out that $25,000 of prize money. These guys have fought through two full days of Madden action for a chance to get a piece of the pie. Chat, what do you guys got? Um, what do you guys got for Rico's question? Anybody got some keys to the game? What do you guys in the chat have as being the difference maker in this game right here? I'm, I'm curious on your guys' thoughts. Let's go. And now a first and ten. First play of the game. It's going to be a run. Devontae Freeman left side. We'll pick up a good chunk to the 31-yard line. Give him six on first down. Motion, 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 motion. Serious mode with the beast mode must score points. It's just good advice. The team with the most points is going to win the game. Thrown in the chat saying, who's ever Julio, Julio's more will win. Julio, that's a good one. I go with my key as, as a key in, in the majority of games. Turnover battle determines games. Whoever's able... To win that turnover battle should win this game. Second and four, Matt Ryan in the shotgun. Should drop back to pass. Blitz picked up nicely, and I love that throw by Clef. And it's something we haven't seen a whole lot uh, in the last couple of games. He took what the defense gave him and found Hooper underneath. Yeah, and Clef's the real deal. I mean, this guy has the stick work. He has the reps. But he also comes from a strong football background. He's a former football player himself. He has a father who's a, a high school head coach in D-Land for football. So... He's, he's seeing the game through a, a little bit of a different light. He understands it from a Madden perspective, but he also understands it from a football X's and O's perspective, uh -oh. and that makes Off him very dangerous, as you can see right there, Nick. Calvin Ridley with a big play down the middle of the field. Swag Merck in the chat saying, is this turning in regs? Yes. Yeah. All right. regs here. This is couch play. You're, you're on, even though they have their own monitor, it's like if you're playing your buddy on the couch, you guys could... You can't pull up your play art, which is very different than online. That's not something we've talked about, but that's one of the biggest differences in these type of tournaments. Square over the middle. Oh, what a Finds him. That's Tevin Coleman to the three-yard line. Clef looking to go out to an early lead. That's big. But yeah, I think those are some of the biggest differences in, in the offline play. Not being able to pull up your play art, being able to see exactly what formation your opponent comes out in. And then the coaching adjustments, obviously, being able see to him. see when your opponent goes to the coaching adjustments. So definitely some differences in this offline style of play. Is Clef going to try to punch it in? Sobert in motion. How about a fullback dive for Devontae Freeman? RG, one of my favorite things. First time I got here, getting, getting prepped for the tournament. And one of the admins came up and goes, hey, Nick, just to let you know, we have a rule here. No onside kicks in the first half. To which I responded, don't worry, not a problem. Not in this Madden. <laughs> not in this Madden, for sure. Maybe older version, but that's, gonna, there it is. The tight end in motion, a beautiful block up front. Devontae Freeman finds the end zone, cleft the god. He drives right down the field in just, just over two minutes. 2.05 off the clock. He'll go up 7-0. And Clef, he's a, he's a poisy individual. Not, not a lot rattles him. And, th and that's not easy. When you come into tournaments and, you know, everybody's got high expectations. Everybody's picking you to win it. That, that can get to a lot of people. But Clef has the kind of competitive spirit where I don't think that pressure is going to get to him. He's going to go out here and he's going to ball out. And Beast Mode's going to have to play one heck of a game if he's going to knock off Clef. But... One thing in Beast Mode's favor is he is capable of playing one heck of a game. I see some Clef emotes in the chat. I mean, the Clef, he also streams routinely on Twitch, his community, the Church of Madden, always out there supporting him. Let's go. He's a phenomenal streamer, very entertaining, teaching some good stuff, a part of that needed game and movement with Dub.W. Got a line in the chat. It says Clef minus 13 and a half. Rico, your thoughts? 
I, if they unmic, hey, try switch, to talk into your mic. Switch, switch. Turn me back on. Okay, and I'm back now. <laughs> Mortimer, we're back. Clef minus 13 and a half is way too high of a line. They're discounting beast mode as a bell winner and the fact that he's been in this seat before. He does experiments. There's nothing you can do to shake that man. He's unflappable. He's got the white noise. That scares me. Got the white noise in his ear. Looking deep down the field. One on one. Pick oh, up. Yes, Clef the God. Getting the pick with Desmond Trufant. Going the other way. Minus 13 and a half. Looking a little better. There people goes throw, they're throwing their needles in the chat. Yeah, as Dobby would say, and Clef playing some physical football. Gets the sack. Shortly thereafter, gets himself a turnover after scoring a touchdown in complete control of the game to start off. Let's see what he can do with that turnover here. Everybody's talking about in the chat, Rico. Monkey apparently in a stream said Clef wouldn't make top 16. And Monkey says, he said, I wasn't Hayden. I just felt like he's a better salary cap player. He's proving me wrong. He was swimming in that river called denial. How about Calvin Ridley? He's been the player so far. For Clef the God, four or four, 82 yards passing the ball, looking to go up two scores. How long before he throws an incomplete pass? That's a good question. Everything seems to be open he's throwing to. He's not forcing anything. He's taking everything as it comes. It's very comfortable. He's hey, very guy. comfortable out there. He's got live event experience. He streams often, hey, so he's used to playing in front, you know, in front of people, people watching. A lot of tough reps. Gets a lot of respect, has that high football IQ. But again, Beast Boat not to be slept on. He has more experience than Clef, if we're being honest there. He has a belt under his name. He's been playing top-level competition for close to a decade now. He's fully capable of doing what he needs to do to win this game. Sammy West saying Beast Boat going to need floaty soon. Can you guys swim? Yes. I can no comment. Ooh, Spin play. move. Oh, whoa. Julio Jones. Laser. Well, no incompletion there. The Church of Madden's own cleft the God just continues to march down the field. Already up 7-0. Forced to turn over and gets himself back into the red zone. I mean, this is as advertised. The hype has been real so far. How do they get the emoji? I want an emoji. You gotta sub the people on Twitch. I think that might be Clef's inside, if you sub the Clef's. Yeah, you gotta sub yeah. the people, man. Okay, no, I'm saying I want me. Okay. Oh, you as an emoji. Yes. Who's gonna make the Rico emoji? And, and, and hey, make a real one. Don't be funny about this. No, I'm being serious right now. Please be funny. <laughs> Seven nothing, your score. Clef dropping back on first and 10, stepping up with Matt Ryan. Showed off that 5 4 40 speed. Told you he can get a yard when you need him. Dubby saying these cleft emotes need his proper hairline. Yes, Dubby. I'd like a Rico emote. I'm going to make a bald Rico emote. Or make him look like I, I'd really like a the Steve Harvey. beautiful stenciled Dubby original portrait. But, you know, I'll settle for the emote. Oh, Back in the end zone. It's got him. Came down with the catch. Cleft no the God. Passes. Julio being Julio. As soon as you find that man one-on-one -on -one with one person around him, you just got to throw him a high ball and let him do what he do. And we've seen it all tournament long, and it's just been Falcons, Chiefs all day, and Julio Jones, obviously a big reason people going with these Atlanta Falcons. If you had to pick one, if you were starting your Madden team, chat, let me know who you guys got, too. You're building your Madden team in Madden 19 from scratch. You get to pick your first wide receiver one. You go in Julio Jones or Tyreek Hill? I Who do you guys you got? Am, go I, am I playing I in comp mode? Got in the chat. Am I playing in comp mode or am I building a similar This is comp. Team? You're going to okay. have to play in a tournament. Then, uh, then Julio. You're, you're building Julio. your team. Julio. The, the, the high ball yeah, is Age so doesn't good. matter. Am I playing against Jaybird? <laughs> you're going into a tournament blindly. A lot of Julios in the chat. A lot of Julios. Yeah, I, I still Tyreek. Julio. The ag's too good. A crossbody has a man up the field. That's Calvin Ridley down to the 41-yard line. And fun fact, if you didn't like seeing that Falcons-Chiefs matchup, well, the winner of this game is going to be taking on joke. Tuesday, Tuesday, Kansas City Tuesday. Chiefs. Going to see another Falcons Chief in, in the Elite Eight. One quarter is down. It's all cleft. 14-0, but beast mode on the drive. Be curious if we have any other teams besides the Falcons Chiefs 
left in the tournament. I, I don't believe so. Shut up, Porter. DJ Moore is not the answer. It was a lot of Julios. It, it, it was more Julio sided than I thought in the chat. Than I thought it would be. First and ten, right side. Got a man, but can't come up with the catch. Looking for Tevin Coleman. It's gonna be incomplete. Set up a second and ten. Twenty-two. We get some reeks coming back. Twenty. Rage. Twenty-one. Easily reek. That guy rage like the boss. Much love to the homie. And speaking of rage like the boss, he was the one that played Clef in the finals of that Tampa Bay Buccaneers Club Championship this year. And they had a good game, but Clef's offense was just too much for rage. I'm sure they're going to have a good rivalry in that Buccaneers Club going forward. There's your emote from, <laughs> from Lethal Skills. It's the Minecraft emote. That's I love it. That's 10 out of 10. I enjoy casting these games with the chat up on. Huh? These guys, it's fun, man. chat's more entertaining than they don't need us. Just let the chat do what it do. I need to see that emote in HD. <laughs> <laughs> Rage like a boss, guys. And RG, you're going to be out at EA play. No, no, no EA play for me this year. I'll hold it, hold it down at home. Hold base. the fort. One of, one of the few times. Oh, did he? Did he pick up the yard? On third and inches, he did. Uh, one of the few times this year, RG has gotten to hold down the fort at home. Yeah. Well, that's usually what happens. I've skipped. The, I don't think I've been at the last two or three EA plays. Just doing so much traveling with the MCS. Yeah. By the time I, it comes I, around, it's. Uh, I've been to the last two EA plays, and I've never seen you there. Yeah, I, I'm up to. I went to the first, the one, first one, the right? First one, and that was it. But I'm sure everyone's going to. I'm excited to see everybody Spindles. out there, have a good time, and get the, everyone's feedback on Madden 20. So it's, Getting a little spin it's happy. It's going to be awesome. Appreciate everybody in the chat hanging out with us. Appreciate everybody sitting in the seats here at DreamHack. First ever Madden tournament, and so happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams on the call. And don't forget, we got a full day of Madden action tomorrow. We're going to give out that $25,000 prize pool starting at 1 o'clock Eastern time right here. Twitch.tv slash DreamHack Madden. You can check out the entire bracket. You can see those Elite Eight matchups. It's at dh.je slash Madden Dallas. It's a big sack right there for Clef. Now he gets beast mode and a huge surge in 18. If you're beast mode, you do not want this drive to stall out. Clef is just too good on offense for you to not keep up with him and keep score some points. This is a big play right here for the Mac. Third and 18. You gotta stand up for yourself, Beast Mode. Look at deep to the left so side. Oh, he Look had it. The catch. And now a fourth and long. He's gonna settle for three. Oreo in the chat. Our, the Madden Bowl runner-up, Spoto in the chat. Spoto. Young Spotes. Young Spoto. Beep. 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 The block kick specialist. That's what, yeah, he had one. That he definitely made sure everybody knew he had one. From 55 yards out to cut it to a 14 to three game. Can you imagine going back to his high school after the run he had? He had to be the man when he walked down that hallway. Oh man, what, what did he make? 30k. And that, that was just on, on top of what he was already made this year. I mean, he must have been swagging around. Oh, he was in there. You get a chocolate milk. You get a chocolate milk. <laughs> Everybody get a gets a chocolate milk. 14-3, your score is Beast Mode able to put some points on the board. How big is this drive, RG? Beast Mode needs a stop. Oh, does he? Yeah, you cannot go down 21-3 to a player of the caliber of Clef. Worst case scenario, if you're Beast Mode, you can hold them to three. A touchdown would just be detrimental to his chances to be able to win this ball game. And unfortunately for Beast Mode, I don't think he's come close to stopping Clef so far in this game. 123 yards of offense for Clef, only 29 for Beast Mode. It's why he's down 14 to three. Trying to get something going on the ground with Devontae Freeman, nobody home. What do you think about taking three there? You like that, correct? Yeah. No need to force it. At least you break it up, get some points on the it, board. And here's what I think about. I go, if I'm able to get a stop, if I can't get a stop here, it doesn't matter whether I got three or seven. I can't stop it. But if I get a stop here and say I only get a field goal at the end of the half, it's a one-score game. Second and eight. 
Good play pocket looking down the field. What pocket presence, man. That's real deal pocket presence That's for tough. Us. That's tough to stop. That's how you step up, climb up in the pocket, and then wait for your route to develop and throw a laser. That's just good, clean John Madden football right there from Clef the God. And, and we now have Rico, the most, Im the most exciting thing we're watching right now. Will Beast Mode Mac have to buy a third day pass here to Dream Hack? Do you know, probably he was sitting there like, hey, glad I didn't buy that third day right now because I can't stop Clef. S saving my money, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Two minute warning. 14 to three, Clef on top. Great day here at DreamHack. If you're in the Dallas area, make sure you stop by tomorrow. Get yourself a day pass. It is going to be bonkers here. A lot of games given out, a lot of money. So a Rocket League tournament. Got the DreamHack Masters in CSGO. They're giving out $300,000 and a ring. A ton going on here. So if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, make sure you stop by. This convention is absolutely phenomenal. And I mean, that was just so awesome with DreamHack and it, it, it Madden. It did in this time of year for a good play. For, for us to be able to fill up a 96-person bracket in June for, you know, a Madden game when have a bunch of people on the waiting list left over, that's just phenomenal. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in a, you know, competitive Madden tournament this late into the year. No, this is definitely groundbreaking. First and 10. 25 large doesn't hurt either. That doesn't. 25,000. Like, we were talking about it, Rico. You remember back in the day, it was a 10, mega ball was like 10,000, wow. and it was like this huge deal. Everybody had to go to it from the East Coast and the West Coast. And now here we are, 25 grand. What's up, Dubers? Good to see you, man. And that was, and that 10 grand was at like the beginning of the year when the game was, you know, and it's prime, fully relevant. I mean, here we are. We're, we're a month or so away from, uh, two months away from Madden 20. And they're giving away 25 grand. That's just awesome, awesome stuff here at DreamHack. And again, a reminder, it's the first day of June and we have competitive Madden for money. Phenomenal as Clef using that clock steps up in the pocket. Look, last oh, try. Oh, that was an opportunity for a pick oh, and it was swatted. Beast mode has to grab that one. You can't, you gotta pick against the player as good as Clef, you cannot leave those type of opportunities on the table. You gotta make sure you grab that pick get that turnover and get right back in this ball game. Get up! Again, if you want to check out the bracket, dh.je slash Madden Dallas, or you can just put exclamation point bracket in the chat. Ant Cap in the chat. What's going on, man? It's my guy, Ant Cap, man. What's up, Ant? One of the, one of the smartest guy. guys when it comes to Madden. He's at the flat yeah, awesome. and tackle. Fourth and short. If you're a clef, do you take your three and go up by two scores? It looks like he is. He's playing smart. Yep. So you're, if you're beast mode, that was smart to take or that take other the three. three the other you're way. still down. Your two scores. You held serve. Will there be a Madden tournament at DreamHack Atlanta? Oh, he got the animation and didn't block it. I don't think he got the animation. I oh. think beast mode was just trying to get sticky and scum. I got an organic Got a little hesitation from the block. kicker there. Yeah, that was a weird. Little scum. A little fishy. Uh, will there be a Madden Tournament DreamHack Atlanta in November? Do not know yet. I certainly hope so. That would be tight. If it's in November, that would be Madden 20. Hey, Express, Express! Hey, Sal! You're being killed. And Caps, what's going on, guys? Just tuning in today from a long day with the fam. Did I miss any upsets? Uh, what, we saw Crush go down in the round of 64 uh, to go for it. Deep pass down the field. Looking for it. Oh! oh he's got oh. Tevin Coleman at the 20 yard oh, line. Picking. That's huge. That now, if he can big, get big seven play. here, this is a ball game again. And look at him hurry back, trying to put. Boy, a touchdown here. We got a whole new ball game in the second half. 17 to 3, 13 seconds and counting. He's running out of time. Beast mode. Got to throw it to the end zone. Throw it away. Take three. Just going to take his three. Is he taking one more shot at this? Might take one more shot. I just, I just don't picture Clef giving this up. 
I think Peace Mode's hoping for a high ball to Julio. He's going to take one. Nah, he's going to kick a field goal. Yeah, Clef's too good to give that up. Like you said, Clef's the type of guy. He's got that football mind, Rico. He's going to identify Julio. <laughs> yes, he's not going to allow it. <laughs> he's not going to allow it. Just like you've been asking for. Who would let Julio get over the top? Who would let Tyreek Hill get over the top? He's so mad. <laughs> got him to jump early. The kick is up. And with three seconds left in the first half, Beast Mode has cut it back to an 11-point game. Go, Beast Mode fighting, but Clef just... So tough, and it's cool to see Clef started off this year. He, he was just a gun bunch player. He just kind of sat in bunch, and there had been some arguments about bunch or trips tight end. Uh, Clef now showing kind of like joke that he's obviously able to run both of those meta Versatile. offenses yeah. and be very tough in both of them as he's looked very effective in the trips tight end uh, this tournament. Final play of the first half is me handoff. Freeman gets outside, cuts back inside, trying to get something going. We got 10 minutes of gameplay left. 17 to 6. Who do you guys got in the chat as having the best trips tight end offense this year? See, I've heard a lot of J Walls throughout the season. Drag is another guy that always comes up. Strafing, obviously. Curious who you guys so got in the chat. Things. Clef's looking pretty good in the trips tight end right now. Joke looks pretty good. A lot of guys saying J Wall. Yeah, a lot of J Wall love. Well, hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. 17 to 6, the score. Yeah, left. Got it. Go. Well, it's it seems Clef, J Wall, and a little bit of drag. Oh, oh that's. Yeah. Beast Mode can't believe it. Had that little the tight end playmaker up the field was open, but didn't set his feet with Matt Ryan, and Matt Ryan missed the throw. Even though three makes it a one-score game, if he he has to get seven, you can't keep getting these many chances. I think for confidence' sake, I mean, I, what I'll say is he's had one good chance, one very outside chance. Okay. That last drive was six. Chance. Gets down here, he's got him. himself seven right here. Ten you got Coleman. yourself a real deal ball game going on. Beast Mode is not to be slept on. This is a top-tier Madden player with a ton of experience. And I know Clef's got a lot of hype around him. He looks very tough on the sticks. But like I said throughout this game, Beast Mode is capable of pulling this off. Not what reads like that. But if he settles down, a couple plays go his way. Don't be surprised if he's able to walk away with this. Drag in the chat saying Strafing's got the best trips. He won the most money in it this year. Strafing runs so much stuff. He wants a little bit of everything. Gun, gun, gun. He's the smorgasbord of a Madden player. NBL material. Hey, good. Yeah, sure. Pocket. Good Corner pocket. Out. Oh, feet down inbounds. Tevin Coleman. How much of a stud he's, is Tevin he's Coleman? He's so good. He's huh? starting to get in his rhythm. He's starting to get in that wheelback. 17 to 6, the score. Go, go. Big drive here from Beast Mode Mac. 414 and counting. And drop back to pass on first and 10. Deep down the middle of the field. Ooh. That was a high pass that ended up in row number three, a souvenir for a fan. Touchdown would be so huge right here. Hey, hey, for gun, the Mac. Gun, gun. gun. Well, 21. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday. Second and 10. Tuesday. 22. Gun bunch. Ridley alone on the left side. Dropping back to pass. Oh, Definitely. good blitz. Ricardo Allen, the safety, making a play. Third and 13. Good defense go. right there from Clef. Set the nickel back. I believe a linebacker spied the D tackle. That nickel just took a good blitz angle, made a big play. Now huge third and 13 for Beast. Looking to bunch to the left side. Ryan on third and 13, only a three-man rush. Good There's pocket. nobody open. Look at left side. Wow. Julio Jones. Tough way to make a living, but you'll take it if you're beast mode. Oh, are you kidding me? That's a good play. Right? He stayed in the pocket, rolled away from the pressure, waited for the corner route to break it. I know it was there was a defender there, but there's not much else. Goes up, makes a play, gets the positional advantage. Beast mode just won't go away. 
Drag saying the same thing, good pocket. Both of these players, Clef is showing phenomenal pocket. They are tap dancing in there yeah, very they, well. They that heat is this, not getting to them. This is high level Madden, people. Second and goal, coming out goal line formation. Two tight ends on the right side, one on the left side. Coleman at the top of the eye. Freeman at fullback. He's going to hand it to Coleman, who's got a hole, and he'll get into the end zone. Boys, we got ourselves a ball game. Beast mode, Mac, cutting it back. Here we go. Here we go. This is a way to close out the day. You got the heavy favorite, Clef. Finds himself in a dogfight with the grizzled veteran, Beast Mode Mac. And I think Beast Mode's going to go for two and try to make this a three point game. Is he running or passing here? Quick. Pass. Run. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down. Ready. Two wide receivers, one tight end. Nope. Ooh. And now, now you got to kick it. We'll never know. <laughs> the world may never. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. It's a long extra point, huh? Oh, make sure it doesn't get blocked. I, I told you Beast Mode's troll game was strong. Kick is up. It is good. It's a four-point ball game in the third quarter. And we go back to the first half, Rico. Three points for Beast Mode Mac, taking the three on his drive, and then forcing Clef into three. If that goes the other way, he gets no points. Clef gets seven. We're talking about how this game is already over, and we're discussing our menu options for dinner tonight. You're absolutely right. Now, this is the first time the pressure's really back on Clef now. He needs to make a play because right now Beast Mode is in his bag, locked in. Yeah, this is a momentum drive right here in this ball game. If Clef can continue to be prolific and move the ball the way he has all game, you've got to figure he'll be able Dion. to walk away with the W. But if Beast Mode's about to sting up and put the pressure on him, Running game hasn't been good for Clef. Nine carries, 24 yards, but it's been the passing game that has torn up Mac. Can he pull out some stops through the air? It's a good way to end day two here at the DreamHack Madden tournament. Second and 12. Ryan over the middle that's of the field. A, oh, that's a dot. To the 23 yard. No, oh, he dropped it. it. Ridley. I saw weird. Ink. I saw the weird animation, but it looked like the ball was sort of still in the bread basket. Now we got ourselves a big third and twelve right here. Clev's gonna have to fight through some adversity. Beast Mode's been playing defense. If this is incomplete, is Clef in a four-down territory? Like, does he have to get this, or can he punt? I don't know. Ridley in motion outside left. Jones in the slot on the right side. Devontae Freeman on the left hip. Play action pass. Ryan dropping back. Man open, open over the middle. Oh. How do you leave Julio Jones open in the middle of the field? Rico is so mad right now. Yeah, Beast Mode for some reason went with the tight end, fading toward the sidelines, wasn't even going to pick up the first down that he threw to the tight end, completely leaves Julio unaccounted for. Rico's going to have a heart attack right here up at the desk. He's so disgusted about it on third and 12. You're right. You just you, you can't let that happen. You have Make someone else beat, beat you. you. If, if Austin Hooper beats you, I can so live with it. that. So I it. can live with that. Yeah. But I, what I will not do is allow no one to be covering Julio Jones. Gun, gun, gun. First down at 10 for Beast Mode Mac under the two-minute mark yeah. in the third quarter. Jones in motion from left to right. Hooper and Sauber. The Titans on the right side. is going to be a run for Devontae Freeman. The run defense for Mac has been phenomenal so far. 2.4 per carry for Devontae Freeman. Now... Beast Mode is playing great defense, but in order to really be playing great defense, you have to get off the field when you have your opportunities. You always have to identify where is Julio. Find him and follow him at all times. Three wide set. Watch out for Coleman. He split wide left. Jones in the slot, Ridley. Tied to the formation. Hooper the lone tight end. Jones going to come in motion on second and ten. Ryan looking left side. He's got Austin Hooper. He'll pick up ten. 
Another first down for Clef to God. 11 of 13, incredibly efficient passing the ball. Yeah, and if you're Clef, now you want to talk, think about maybe slowing this game down. Couple of plays, take it to the fourth quarter. If you can get into the fourth quarter, score yourself a touchdown, be up two possessions, 11 points, that's going to put Beast Mode in a very strenuous position. Joe Rice in the chat. No, oh, Wes? Delmer in the chat. Gibbs. Niner. XLF. We got oh, goons out here. The Kiver. The Kiver. Dub Dot. Drag. Been rocking with us all day, man. Appreciate you guys. Much love. We rock out. This Madden 19 tournament here in Dallas DreamHack. DreamHack's 25th anniversary, by the way. And look at Clef. He's bobbing along. He's going to let this run all the way out. Fours up in the chat, both for the fourth quarter and the four-point game. The final spot in the Elite Eight on the line. Clef with the ball, but this game far from over. If you're beast mode, you can even give up three here but you cannot allow seven. That changes the whole complexion of the game, puts a different level of pressure on you. You have to make sure you only give up three, if any at all. Skimbo's in the chat, Michael Skimbo. Skim He's joining mad in with us, shout there out by RG. Skimbo, I, I get to Oklahoma next chat. week. Apologize. I get to <laughs> Oklahoma next week. Skimbo and I had some great times last year. We're gonna be doing it all over again. Obviously, if I see Skim in the chat, I'd call him out. He's been MIA. Hey, hey, gun, gun. Second and eight. Matt Ryan. Taking away that deep crosser. His presence is hell. It's so good. And look at how much time he still has. There's no pressure to be found. Now the pressure comes. How about the defense downfield? (laughs) That's coverage. In in no world are you supposed to have to play coverage for that long. Beast mode was great there. I know I've been giving him some grief, but that was absolutely great. Third and eight. Clef. Pressure. Down goes Clef. And he is now at 59 yard field goal. That might have pushed him out of field goal range. He's going to go for it. But boy, how big is this kick? He make this. This is going to be a boot. Oh, Whoa. he might have pulled it. He might have pulled it. It's going wide. It. It's going it. wide. Wow. It's the return of the Mac. And now look at the field position Mac has with 4.28 to go. He's on the 49-yard line, a chance to take the lead. Oh, man, we got ourselves ball game, people. Looking like Miami, Florida State. It's wide right. You think anybody is old enough in the chat to remember Florida State's all those kicks? It's like, yeah. it's like four or five years they missed kicks to win the game. When I really think of missed kicks, I always go to Ray Finkel. Oh, when I think of missed kicks, I'm thinking of Buffalo. How about, was it Minnesota? Blair Walsh. Well, not that one. Older. Is it Gary Anderson? There we go. The Mac has returned and he's trying to pick up this second and one. Sneak. I don't think he got it. Short. He's short. He's going to hurry back to the line, third and one. Didn't even make it third and inches. It's like changing up the play. This can be frustrating. Fullback dive That's with big. Devontae Freeman. He'll pick up the first down. I don't know if his knees touched the ground. It looked like he rolled over the tackle. What are you guys doing clock management wise here if you're beast mode? You got to try to. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You as worry, you're trying to hurry up and score. You're trying to be ma- mindful of the clock. Number one key is get score. the end zone. I just want to Got to get in the end zone. Maybe if I was as good as, you know, the, the problems, the kids, the skimbos. The, the, those guys are good enough to worry about scoring and leaving you no time left. When you're a player of my caliber, all you got to th- thinking about right now is getting this touchdown so you can get yourself the three-point lead and your first lead of the ball game. Yeah, my offense hasn't been good enough for me to go, I'm just going to milk this clock. I got to worry about getting six. Down four, and we're nearing the three-minute mark. What a way to finish day two of DreamHack Madden. Second and ten, he's going to look to the flat. Oh! Looking for the strip, doesn't get it. But he'll get to the 33-yard line. Just to give, give you a quick example of how big DreamHack is, this is an event that's been in over 10 countries. They've been in the U.S., 
Canada, Sweden, France, Spain, Germany, UK, Russia, and the list continues on. So this is a worldwide type of event. Madden here for the first time on the big stage. They're giving away $25,000, and we're ending day two here with a good game like this. It's what it's all about. Mac down the field. Oh, Pitch and Clef. Pitch and Clef. Clef with the lurk it's and the it. return. Oh, he's talking to the Mac. It's the return of the God. Clef the God. He is letting him hear every bit of that. Wow. What a defensive play. He was looking for a Julio. And here we go. Beast mode gonna have to play some defense now. He has all three of those timeouts. And he, if you're Clef, you figure he's gonna run the ball right here. Try to take it to the two minute warning unless Beast Mode oh. touches it off timeouts. Oh. But the game on the two minute warning. Oh. What you got in that key? 20, 15, 10, 5, put it on the oh, board. Oh man. Everybody and their mama had to know that the run was coming. Clef doesn't seem to care. Gets Ixon, takes it to the cribbo. Gonna make it two possession ball game, get all the momentum. That, How about that run? It, it, that was old school B button. That was the old B school. button. Old school. And how? You want to talk about skill gap? You want to talk about how good these guys are? Everybody and their mama knew that there was going to be a run play, and Clef went, I'm taking it to the house. It don't matter. And that's what I call getting on your horse. He was out. He's got the horses in the back. Use the horse. I'm so hip with the new and current music. I'm not touching that Old Town Road joke. <laughs> that was, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I understand. Gun, gun. That's tough, but fair. Hey, hey, gun, gun. Clef the God. I mean, this guy, he has just burst onto the scene, had a good hey, season gun. this year. Many Clef. people thought he was the one person that, re him and Joe Rice, probably the top two oh, people boy, that boy, got boy. snubbed out of not making the Madden Bowl. And, going to be exciting going into Madden 20 to see what Clef can do. Here comes Beast Mode and that's it. Kicks off. That's going to be too much for him to overcome. Clef is so pumped. Wow. Clef Clef's, Clef's telling him, you can't throw that ball on me. Yeah. He, it's a wrap. And now we're looking at tomorrow. We Your Elite see. 8 Clef and Joke. Who's the favorite going into that one? They're putting their GGs in the chat. Ah, dude, I don't know if there is a favor going into Clef Joke. Clef Joke? Oh, man. I, I can't pick a favor. Oh, man, one. flip a coin. I can't pick a favor. I think it's Clef. I think I if you ask the community. The community oh, is exactly think the community is going with Clef. The community is going to go with Clef, but you, Joke's not to be slept on in any situation. Commission John, Commission Don, will Clef win a major in Madden 20? You I know think Commission Don is, right? Steve Mizzle. That's the legend Donnie Moore himself. That's what I thought it in was. In the chat, like, shout out to Donnie Moore. And here's what I'll tell you. I think statistically, you have to take the field, obviously. Yeah. But if you ask me out of the non-belt winners who was looking to get it, I definitely think Clef and Joke would be at the top of that list. Oh, yeah, for sure. Second down and eight. Past the two-minute warning. Timeout taken by Beast Mode. And this one is over. It's going to take a miracle I'm just, from I'm just that. saying, RG, RG's got a real scum move with having Donnie Moore on his fantasy team. What's scum about that? That's so scummy. It's brilliant. He's, he's, I mean, it's a brilliant That's scum move. It's a brilliant move. move. It's paid off, literally. And, uh, yeah, Donnie forever uh, uh, gonna, uh, could be co-commissioner with me. Whenever, wherever. Split a fantasy team with Donnie any day of the week, man. It's a privilege. Third and 11. What I'm, what I'm doing, what Donnie needs to do is come out with his own fantasy guide. He'd be successful with that thing. I mean, that guy is a walking. All I want is anyone to, to pull the, who the hell is Donnie Moore? Like, who the hell is Mel Kuyper? Yeah, exactly. Donnie Moore is the eSports Mel Kuyper. Donnie Moore, MVP of this MCS season. The stats that he got us. 
good as it gets, and one of the best guys around. Big shout out to Donnie Moore. Fourth and 11, the punts away. Doesn't punt it out of bounds. Let's him return it. Ooh. Spinny, spin, spin. <laughs> I like the dive while he's in the animation. So in this situation right here, if you're Mac, you're now in onside kick territory. You can score it. You still have a chance to win this ball game, but it's going to require you getting the very unlikely onside kick. But first things first, you need to go ahead, get yourself into the end zone or get yourself three, and you got to do it quickly. Wait a second, your fantasy team was called the Big Gronkowskis? Yeah, I think so. That was the one we won. That was the uh, the junior league that we won this year. Donnie. Donnie. You guys beat eight-year-olds? No, 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 no. <laughs> this junior is, league. I can't get into okay, it. It's so a lot to explain. No, running it, rough shot through the Girl Scout ranks? <laughs> Come on now. Your junior league. Play with some real players. We, we have NFL we're in players. the senior league as well, but there's also a junior league that didn't fill yeah. up, so they needed Point someone to help fill the spot. And the way the league works is the top three people from the senior league each year get demoted and the top three from the junior get promoted. We just had to help Donnie's fill a spot. the biggest soccer fan in the world and he's stealing the soccer model. Oh. Do Donnie's the glitch in, in any uh, stat This is how glitchy thing. Donnie is. In every league that he was involved in this year, I believe he had Patrick Mahomes. And he got him in like the sixth or seventh round each time. Well, that, that worked out well for him. We're under a minute to go. Third and six for Beast Mode Mac. Speaking of the glitch. Well, cleft the god. Oh Balls out. man, just speaking Balls of the out. glitch. Ball games, the GG's in the chat. The headphones are off, the handshakes are on. 